Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to concatenate two strings without using built-in function. So let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file and will include one more preprocessor directive that is hash include string dot h because we are using uh, some of the inbuilt uh, functions which are present in string dot h header file other than concatenation of two strings. Now let us declare the function here we are going to write the function prototype for example right so let me write wide is a return type and name of the function I am going to write concatenate then I am going to write char type of data str1 of any size comma next char str of 2 of any size and then put semicolon so here it is one dimensional array of characters so there are two strings are required to combine together so here concatenation means combining two strings together second string will come and join at the end of the first string and this particular statement is called function prototype i am going to write it in a single line command as function prototype so here how exactly we are going to declare all the variables before using them in the program in the same way we have to declare the function before defining it so function prototype creates an interface for the compiler that tells the compiler this particular function name with these two arguments are present you have to search for it and executes the statement present in it now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here we are going to declare two strings we will write char, I will write s1 of size 30, s2 of size 30. CLR, SCR function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will ask the user to enter the first string using printf statement. In a double quotation mark, I am going to write enter the first string. Enter double quotation mark and put semicolon. And we are going to receive uh, the input from the user through keyboard using get s s1 function. Next, we will ask the user to enter the second string. So, here in a double quotation mark, I will write enter the second string. Enter double quotation mark, put semicolon. Using the same function get s, we are going to receive string 2 and put semicolon after receiving this we are going to call this particular function i'll write concatenate and we are going to pass both of these two arguments s1 comma s2 and put semicolon so this particular statement is called function call i'm going to write it in a single line command as function call now after that i'm going to write printf statement and here in the double quotation mark, I am going to write concatenated string. Percentage, yes, and the double quotation mark, yes, one. So, why s yes one? Why not s yes two? Because here the second string will come and join at the end of string one. After combining string two with the string one, the new string is stored in s one. So, that is the reason we have to take s1 over here now let us write get ch function and then curly closing brace now it's time to define this particular function so let us define by writing wide name of the function is concatenate and inside of the round bracket we are going to write char str1 comma str2 that is second string and closing brace 
curly open brace indicates this is the beginning of the body of the function definition next we are going to declare some local variables so whenever we declare any variable inside the function definition they can be accessible within that function definition hence they are called local variables i'll write l1 l2 that is length 1 and length 2 of both string 1 and string 2 respectively and i'm going to take i for iteration let me write l1 is equal to so you can find out the length of the first string using str len function and here we are going to pass this str1 constant that is string constant next we are going to write l2 is equal to i'll write str len and i'm going to write str2 so now second string length will be able to determine after this we have to iterate through the statements right so i'll write for i is equal to 0 i is less than l2 and i plus plus now we are going to write str of str1 of l1 plus i is equal to str of str2 of i and put semicolon and after this i am going to write str1 of l1 here you write l1 plus l2 is equated with the null character it should be enclosed within a single pair of quotation mark and then curly closing brace right yes so now let us take an example and we'll see how exactly this works so here i'm going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the first string for example here i'll write enter the first string here i'm going to enter l o so it is received by s1 next it is going to ask the user to enter the second string so i'm going to enter enter the second string next i'm going to enter t u s so which will be received by s2 next is a function call so concatenate s1 comma s2 so both l o and t u s is passed to this function call as soon as the compiler encounters with this function call control immediately jumps to the function definition so function definition consisting of uh, here l1 l2 and after that we are going to find out the length so here you can initialize l1 is equal to str len returns the number of letters present in string 1 so here you can see it is 2 l o correct similarly l2 can be determined by using str len of str2 so here tus there are three letters so l2 will become three next we can see here the iterative statement for i is equal to zero i is less than l2 i plus plus so str of one that is first string l o l1 plus i here i'll write str of one for example it will be mapped in a memory something like this so for example i'll write l o and this one is s1 that is the first string l1 plus i what is l1 l1 is 2 2 plus i is for the first time 0 so it is length whose length is 2 so here i'm going to write index number 0 and 1 so next index number is what 2 so here we are initializing str 2 of i str of 2 means what here i'm going to write for example this is str 1 will write str 2 consisting of what str 2 consisting of three letters so i'll write t u s whose index number is 0 1 2 okay fine so next here we'll compare this one so str 1 l 1 plus i so that is 2 plus i for the first time i is 0 so it will become str of 2 is equated with str 2 of 0 str of 2 of 0 is what t correct so now 
the new string will be represented something like this for example i'm going to write index number 0 1 and 2 so first two boxes or memory blocks consisting of lo and here str l1 is what l1 is 2 2 plus 0 is 2 str 1 of 2 is equal to str of 0 str 2 of 0 consisting of what t so it is equated to 2 so t will come in the position 2 so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 str 1 l1 is what l1 is 2 2 plus i value is 1 3 correct so here it is pointing to index number 3 of str1 so this is str1 next str of str2 of i value is 1 so it is u it is equated to 3 here u will be initialized next again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is what i value is 2 2 is less than l2 l2 length is what 3 correct it is true so here str1 l1 is 2 plus i value is also 2 it will become 4 so here in the fourth index str2 of i str2 of 2 str of 2 of 2 consisting of what yes it is equated to str1 of 4 here yes will be equated again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value will become 3 so 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails the control comes out of the looping structure and it is going to print the next statement or execute the next statement here you can see str1 l1 plus l2 is equal to null character so each and every string is terminated by a null character right so after the iterative statement so it has to initialize backward slash 0 so that is null character in index number 5 so let us run this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that means there is no syntax error i'll press enter now let us run this program by pressing control f9 here it is asking the user to enter the first string for example i am going to enter only lo and then press enter now it is asking the user to enter the second string now i am going to type pus and then i am going to press enter here you can see it is displaying concatenated string lotus here pus is the second string that come and join at the end of string 1 I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.